Good morning, happy Saturday. It's early on a Saturday morning. I am in the Target parking lot <laughs> doing a Target pickup because I've already got a baking project today. Um, hopefully something special, really special is happening this afternoon. I don't wanna get my hopes up too high, but my hopes are very high. Uh, so I just want to take you guys for the journey and that starts with getting these groceries to do a little baking for a little special treat for a little special someone, I hope. So come with us on this journey. A doggy that hopefully could be a potential good match for us to adopt. I am so hopeful. Uh, yeah, so we've been, you know, kind of looking to hopefully adopt another dog ever since we lost Lolita last year. And let me tell you, adoptions in LA are like cutthroat, <laughs> um, which is good because I'm happy that a lot of dogs are getting adopted. I think, I think especially during lockdown. Um, a lot of people were getting dogs, so that was great. But we kind of had our hearts broken a few times where we found dogs on like Pet Finder or at the Humane Society that were already like, we were like 100th in line to adopt them. So I'm kind of hesitant to like get my hopes up, um, but this is the farthest we've gotten in the process. Like every other dog we've applied for got totally like snapped up and adopted early. So this is like really exciting that we can hopefully have a chance now. Um, and we're gonna get to meet her in person. And I just have to show you guys this because look at her name. Can you see it? She is this cute little baby and her name is Cinderella. So is that fate or is that fate? I feel like that might be fate, but again, I don't wanna get my hopes up too much. Um, I just hope that it goes well. And of course, I just hope that she finds the perfect home for her. She's had some struggles they found her with broken ribs and she's still healing so she's she needs a lot of love and we have a lot of love to give so fingers crossed we're gonna go meet i don't know potential potential new family member so wish us luck so nate is back we're on our way are you excited oh yeah I'm so excited. I'm nervous. Are your hopes like really high? Because my hopes are pretty high. <laughs> I'm trying to keep them low. We've been hurt before. Yeah, we have. We've gotten excited with you've already told us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, it's a doggy dog world and oh, the dog adoption world. But we're excited. And I have this little jar of homemade treats. And I happen to, of course, have the perfect sticker to go on top. <laughs> For Cinderella. I told her she should have dressed fully Cinderella as she does sometimes, but yeah. she said that might I didn't want it to seem bit. like that's why we're adopting the dog, like for her name. Even though it so is. Obviously we could have, no, obviously we could name any dog Cinderella. It does make my case easier though. I don't have to talk him into naming the dog that. Right. It's already her name. <laughs> to Nate repeatedly is that is my dog that's my <laughs> dog that's my dog that was my dog oh I love her so much do you love her so much I do I I hug her like you and she bonded more than we yeah. have so far 
our but souls I 100% communed. think we will also. <laughs> I know. I felt bad I was hogging her from you because... No, that was adorable. I know you'll click with her like I did. I wonder if the family just saw us like immediately start to vlog. Yeah, That's they're fine. like, uh, her new family's weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You guys, that was my dog. Like she just, I picked her up and she just melted into my lap and laid her little head on my bosom. <laughs> and did. it she was the sweetest the thing ever. Like she put her head like on my heart the whole time yeah. I was holding her. Like she was listening like to my heart. Like a doctor. Uh, I mean, if she had had a stethoscope. A little tiny stethoscope. Oh my gosh. Oh. I love her so, so much. We it shave feels her... so wrong that I'm driving away without her. Like that's my dog. We want to shave her and see if she'd be like, if there'd be anything left. She's, she's so still tiny. Little. When she's in my lap, it felt like I had like a feather in my lap. Like <laughs> yeah. nothing. So yeah. little. Ugh, I love her so much. She was so sweet. And she seems very well healed from her rib injuries. Mm -hmm. okay. And she's not shy of people, which is shocking. Or other dogs she got along. She, they had two boy dogs and she seemed to get she along. She was so good with them. Oh my heart. <sighs> <laughs> I've never quite seen... <laughs> Such a, I mean, she's in love Never with DC. Never connected with a dog. We're like both that. in love with DC. Yes, I love DC with all my heart. But I didn't know you had room in your heart for another. Point is, I am obsessed. <laughs> yep, I don't really approve us. I, I know, I, I know. Think that's the way they were leaning. I need, I need next steps immediately. <laughs> Where am I driving? I don't know. <laughs> We're driving in circles. We're in, this is puppy love. Oh my gosh. <sighs> and they call me puppy love. <laughs> I love her. She's sweet. Uh, Cinderella. Cinderella. Did you tell them the story of how I texted you? But I had texted No, you. so yeah, Nate found... I wasn't even looking because my heart's been broken by all these other attempts. And just, we have traveling coming up and stuff like that. Yeah, it's never, not it's right never right. perfect timing, to be honest, but... Uh, yeah. But I kept looking. I couldn't put he down He kept the, looking and I was like, I just don't even tell me. Finger. I don't want to look right now. And then he texted me this dog and I saw the name was Cinderella and then I saw her little face and I was little like, okay. Cool, huh? I think, what did I text you back? I said like, I require this dog. <laughs> yeah, I, must. I must have this dog. <laughs> and yeah, I so feel it works. even more strongly about that now that I met her. Like that was like my dream meeting with her. Yeah. Like that's exactly the personality that I'm just helpless against like that sweet cuddly personality oh my gosh and her foster family was really nice too and they were and oh my gosh she's in the best hands and that's probably why she's also yeah. such a great dog that she's not scared of people after whatever she's been through mm -hmm. they've done a really awesome job with her and they were so sweet and she was after my own heart like she put out water and grapes like just the lady not not Cinderella <laughs> not the dog the foster mom she was so sweet I was yeah. really touched that she did that and they also appreciated the homemade dog treats I dare say yeah so, what did you, you show this? Yeah. It was a love fest. I'm so happy. Yep. Good morning. It's the next day. It's Sunday. And we are headed back over to Cinderella's foster house. I'm so excited. I don't think I slept a wink. Did you sleep she a wink? She was a mess. I slept like a baby. He slept like a baby. I was like writing lists in my head and on my phone. And like <laughs> researching things on my phone and just like trying to plan for everything to go well today because today our little guy DC has a very important date to meet yeah, his potential sister this afternoon and assuming that goes smoothly we're gonna bring her home with us I'm so excited Can you see him in the shot? No I will show you guys he's in his car seat in the back seat um, but he's being a little angel of course so I assume everything will go smoothly I it's mean a lot of pressure. Our hearts are very, very invested, so I really hope it goes smoothly, but he's always great with other dogs, so it should be fine. So we're just going to have a little group walk and like on neutral territory, introduce the family. Yeah, I had a little talk with DC earlier and, um, and just told him not to worry that... Uh, <laughs> I started crying when Nate told me this earlier. That our hearts would grow to a comedy, like we wouldn't... He wouldn't lose any love or attention. We would just, our hearts are gonna expand to. Yeah, he said our hearts are only gonna grow bigger. So there's room for so both So there's gonna be there. even more love. That's so sweet. I remember when we only had Lolita, it was our first dog. And we thought like, we can't get another dog because we can't possibly fit any more love in our hearts. Like right. it's to the max. And then we got DC and it was like our hearts grew like 10 times yeah. the size. I had so. to take my belt out. 
<laughs> if your heart's down in your belt. <laughs> I guess that's a good point. Not good. I had to take my shirt out. He's like sound asleep back there actually. All tuckered out and he hasn't even met the girl. Do you see? You wanna say hi? Hey baby. He woke him. He's got his best bow tie on. He's so handsome. You guys, look who's here with us. She's curled up in my lap in this blanket. Oh baby. She's just a cuddler. She's so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> You're so good. Oh baby. So should we rename her? No. <laughs> DC, are you so happy that we're bringing your sister home? He DC. A, he was a perfect gentleman. He was a perfect gentleman with her and very classy. Yeah, gave her a courtesy sniff and then let her. <laughs> so the craziest thing was seeing them, seeing DC look like a big dog for the first time. I life. know. I can't wait to show you guys the two of them together. The, it's so, so funny because he weighs about 12 pounds uh -huh. and she weighs about seven pounds. So. And she made him look like it. Giant. He must feel like such a big man. Yeah, he's, he's loving it. <laughs> so cute. We pulled over for a little park time just to let everybody keep acc acclimating and hang out a little bit. I got this little lady in my lap. She's such a lap dog. All right, welcome home, baby. She's kind of giving herself a little tour. She saw the office. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, where can I pee and get away with it? No peeing in the house now. <laughs> <laughs> We're having our first family meal together, and it's so peaceful. But I'm so happy to see that they're getting along so well mm -hmm. already. And I'm so happy to see she has such an appetite. <laughs> she was going nuts. We had a pizza and she was very interested in that. This sweet baby just got her first little bit of happy mail. She just wants to cuddle. She keeps putting her whole head in my hand. Cinderella, you got some mail. Of course, it's from her Auntie Nanette and look how cute this is. Look at that address line. Miss Cinderella, oh, it's so cute. It just melts my heart that I can receive mail for Miss Cinderella, that's you. Let's see what's in here. She's supervising this. I think it's pretty clear that like, she has a staff to open her presents for her. And that's me. <laughs> but I already know that this is perfect because she already told me what she got. Oh my gosh. How does this dog toy exist? This is an all points bulletin that a Cinderella carriage dog toy exists and it's actually really like beautifully made. The stitching, it has the pink interior. So far I'm a little more excited than she is, but she's gonna come around. She's just doing important princess stuff back there, but look, and then it has the mice, uh, Gus Gus and Jock and the shoe and they stuff inside here and like it's her challenge to try to get them out. I just spent what some would say was way too long um, printing and cutting out all the little letters to make a banner because it just feels like Christmas when you have a new puppy in the house, a new doggy, and I wanted to decorate. So I'm gonna put up a little, um, a little welcome home banner and of course, being a Cinderella fan, I have all these little touches just lying around, just waiting to be used for the right cause. So I'm gonna have a little fun with like a little photo shoot today. What's happening here? We're getting ready for our photo shoot. Oh or my we're gosh. trying. All she cares about is the proximity of the treats. Yeah. Maybe I, I should relate. tie this bow and then put it on her. Never tried to tie a bow on a moving package. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that hair is got a mind of its own. That's cute. Oh, good job. He looks he looks exactly like a big brother being made to take a picture. Mm-hmm. Hey baby. 
We thought we'd chime in, do a little update, a little middle of the week, kind of end of the week update. Because we brought her home on Sunday and it's now Thursday. So we've had a nice first week together. <laughs> She's being so cute, like just leaning back on my arm right now. So I just thought I would give you guys kind of the update on her first week. It's been so good. We've been a little bubble puppy love. Um, like truly in a bubble because I haven't really even been posting. Like I've just been enjoying our family time. It's been so sweet. And it's been amazing. She is a, she's a little bit of a handful. She's a little bit high maintenance, some would say, like her mother. <laughs> um, she's a little bit a little bit extra. But it's so it's such a joy to take care of her and like have her around. She's so much fun, so sweet. The I'd say like pretty much the only thing that's been like not a not a downside, but an adjustment has been she goes out a lot. We've been taking walks like every two or three hours from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. <laughs> and uh, that's... She has a tiny bladder. She has a tiny bladder. Nate is providing commentary off camera. Sorry. No, it's, it's quite welcome. We gotta get the dad's perspective. She has a tiny bladder and a tiny bowel. <laughs> yeah, so that's an adjustment, but it's so worth it. And she's so easy to walk. Like, she's the sweetest on a leash. Like, she just stays glued to your side. Like, she doesn't drag or um like try and go all, all crazy like she's very obedient on a leash i think maybe because she's not used to being on a leash and she's like don't leave me <laughs> um so yeah she's a joy to walk she's it's like having nothing on your on your leash like she's so feather light um so that's been an adjustment we're going out a lot which is not all that convenient in an apartment that's not ground level that's carpeted had a few accidents but it's to be expected She's doing really good overall. It's just an adjustment. And I know like once she's used to, for sure, never having an accident in the house, we probably won't have to walk her as much. But for now, we are all getting our steps in. <laughs> We're going out a lot and it's been great. Right, baby? Right? <laughs> but she's so sweet. She's so good about like sleeping in her bed all night. Um, going to take a little nap in her crate if I need like, a break from constantly watching her and I'd say the only other thing that's kind of funny is like she is so food obsessed mm. like if we're cooking if human food is happening if dog food is happening she is on it and she's so hyper like so bonkers so only that's funny moms. like if she were a Great Dane it would be bad like she's like jumping and like racing around and like it would be a crazy scene but since she's so tiny it's just adorable <laughs> it's like it's not the best manners we're gonna have to work on like not begging and stuff but it's so she's so cute everything she does um but yeah she cuddles a lot in between and she sleeps a lot in her little bed she and dc get along so well do you want to go in your bed right now okay there you go okay i'm forcing dc to be in the shot because i know we need a dc update as well and he has been a perfect gentleman, so sweet and chivalrous, just the best big brother, the best old Prince Charming this week. I've been so proud of him. Like, what an angel. You're so patient with your sister. Mm -hmm. They haven't had any tense moments, knock on wood. They've gotten along, like, it's crazy. It's like they were siblings their whole life. Like, <laughs> just like water, just flowing together. Like, it's so great. Right, babe? Mm -hmm. Right, buddy? so good it's yeah perfect job. neither one of them like they're just a really good personality together like neither one of them is really territorial or aggressive at all and i think all that either one of them wants is like don't play too rough with me and they don't play rough with each other at all so that's perfect so they get along great and they're both very like easygoing and especially this one he's our perfect baby i hope he's gonna kind of teach her his ways because he is just so well behaved He's so good. He never has an accident. Like, he's very low maintenance. He only needs a few walks. He's so good. It's funny because I never really thought about his coat that much other than just like, you know, wanting to make sure he's healthy and how dapper he is. But her scraggly coat gives me a whole new appreciation. I'm like, look at this luscious coat. Like, it's so silky and thick. It's like, what a good coat. The is softer than it looks. It is. She looks she looks wiry, but she has a very soft coat too. And I think she's gonna get her first now family bath tonight. 
So I didn't want to do it right away because I thought it might be a little traumatic when she was settling in, but like, it's time. So we're gonna see how that goes tonight. Hopefully she takes after me and she loves a spa night, <laughs> but we'll see how that goes. Poor baby. Hey. <laughs> Poor baby. Cinderella. Okay, you're okay. You're okay. Oh, she seems to be handling it. She's not enjoying it. She's getting all toweled off. It was not as traumatic as she's acting. Mm. But isn't she so cute in her little towel? You did good, Cindy. And her hair is like so luscious now and soft. It doesn't even look wiry at all anymore. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with your natural hair, baby girl. <laughs> You're beautiful. I have one more little craft I wanted to get up to. I wanted to send a thank you to her foster family and the adoption agency. So I was just gonna make both of them a little framed photo of her. I printed out from our little photo shoot. So cute. And I think I might try to paint these or decoupage on these frames. They're just like shabby chic from Michaels. So I kinda wanna upcycle those a little bit and do a little thank you for them. And also I found these cards that are so perfect. It says dreams come true, has Cinderella's carriage, and it's just blank inside. Look how pretty and sparkly. Like Hallmark is bringing their A game with these current princess cards, just so you know. <laughs> but I thought that'd be really cute to do a Cinderella themed little thank you for all the people that saved her and brought her to us because we are so grateful. I'm just sitting at my desk here finishing up these little thank you gifts and I want to show you guys how they turned out. I think they're really cute. They're just simple little frames but this one is for the um, rescue that saved her and this one's for her foster family and these cards are just so beautiful. Like Hallmark really outdid themselves with the detail on these cards and they have like gold interior. They're just so pretty. I definitely made some cheesy comments like plays on words I was like thank you for being her fairy dog mother <laughs> and um we'll have help her have her fairy tale ending like I got really cheesy but I just can't help myself I get all emotional about these things and I just thought I'm just so you know forever grateful to everybody that got her to us so I'm gonna mail these little thank you gifts off and enjoy celebrating our sweet girl she's just so cute and Nate and I went out and did errands and when she's home alone for now she's in her crate um I think that helps with any separation anxiety she loves it in there and so she was in there for just like an hour while we were running errands and when we got home and let her out she was like so sweet and happy to see us and excited like crazy excited so I picked her up and I wrapped her in this little pink blanket because her favorite color is pink just like mine. Hi, baby. Oh, she hears some sounds outside. It's okay. And I think it's the chihuahua in her, but she does kind of like tremble a little bit sometimes. And when I first picked her up, she was like trembling in my arms and shivering. And I had her swaddled in her blanket and we we're just sitting out here on the porch. Sorry if it's loud. And I have these rocking chairs on my porch that used to be, uh, they were from my aunt, so they're like a special chairs. And I've just been holding her and rocking her and it has been the sweetest thing to see her go from being like way too wound up and like shaking to so calm and peaceful. And she's been drifting off to sleep and just watching her little eyelids flutter is the sweetest, sweetest thing. And then she'll hear like cars going by or dogs being walked outside and she'll get like woken up for a moment, but she is just passed out. Oh, sweet little contented sigh. She is just being the most darling little angel and I just, I'm feeling all the feels. I'm feeling so grateful for this sweet, sweet doggy, and I'm honestly like feeling so honored to be her mom, <laughs> to be her fur mom, you know, like it's a big responsibility. Like she's been through so much, God knows what, literally. I mean, look at this sweet little banged up ear right here. It's like missing a piece. Ugh, just bless her heart. She's been through some stuff. And I don't know, I can't even imagine what, but she's so loving and trusting 
and the fact that she was like so excited to see us today like I just really feel like she's settling in here and seeing us as you know her fur mom and dad <laughs> and just holding her and rocking her is so good for my soul it's just been the sweetest moment I could just watch her fall asleep forever it's the sweetest little thing she is such a cute little bundle just a little bundle of joy I'm so grateful and I'm so honored that she picked us if I stop petting her she does the cutest thing where she tries to like put her paw on me <laughs> and then lick me until she gets more pats you're a licker <laughs> you're so cute you're so cute <laughs> do you want to hold my hand or do you want to eat my hand hello again we are just going to our first vet appointment well, her first vet appointment at our doctor, getting her set up and switched over with all her records. She's so sweet. <laughs> we have a long list of like a hundred questions we want to ask the vet and um, learn hopefully more about this dog. Like how old is she? We have so many <laughs> questions, but I'm sure she's going to be a perfect angel because she's always so good. It's true. And yes, I'm a huge nerd. I dressed like Cinderella to match my dog at the vet. My shirt says, have courage and be kind. Have they already seen her? Which happens to be my dog's motto. Have they seen her? Um... Her new collar? Yeah. No, let me oh. show you guys. So cute. I just got this. I think it is like what Cinderella would wear as a dog collar if she were a dog. <laughs> this is a really pretty light Cinderella blue, um, like silk satin. Get it in the sun. And it's this big bow. I just wanted her to look like a little birthday present because she's just such a gift. <laughs> it's kind of hard to show you in this lighting, but it's really cute. This is Nate's favorite feature of Cinderella is her mohawk. <laughs> it so totally silly. stays put. But what I like is her beautiful little blonde mullet <laughs> when it's all combed down. She's like yeah. so pretty in the back, like long blonde hair in the back here. <laughs> Like these highlights, honestly, girl, these highlights are to <laughs> die for. People would pay big money in LA for these highlights. Got long hair. She's got like Crazy platinum hair. blonde in there. She's got golden blonde. She's so <laughs> pretty. We just finished at the vet. She's so sleepy. She was sleeping in my lap, but she was really well behaved and everybody there was just enamored with her. We got a good bill of health and she's still healing from all of her past experiences but she's she's safe and healthy now well we are as tired as cindy looks because <laughs> it's been a fun wonderful first week together and we just wanted to kind of sign off here from the cinderella dog and my cheesy matching cinderella outfit which they appreciated there yes um, but yeah it's just been a magical first week and our family feels so complete now and we're so grateful that we got to take this little baby into our lives right baby so that is it from us from our little family and our new little family member and i'm so happy we could share this with you and you will see lots more of cinderella to come bye for now thanks for watching say bye cinderella. say bye <laughs> bye bye she's out <laughs>